Okay, let's have a look at No Remorse by Metallica and this is in E standard. Okay, and the first riff, line one. Right, and we're gonna play it ten times and uh, over this riff, the first guitar solo is also being played and I will cover that in another video and you can find the link to the lead guitars in my playlist on the Kill Moon album uh, below the video. Um, so, but let's take a look at this riff. So, we're gonna start with putting our pinky on the 4th fret on A and we're gonna play E and A strings together, right? And then you're gonna hammer on to the 2nd fret on E. Okay, like this, and then you're gonna play the second fret two more times, palm muted, right? So that's the first four notes of, of the riff, like this. And then the next four notes, so you basically go back, uh, so you're gonna do a, uh, you play the power chord that you're already holding, F sharp power chord, and then you're gonna pull off from the second fret to open E, right? Okay, and then you're gonna hit the E two more times, palm muted, right? So all together the first bar, like this. And then in the second bar you, you pretty much repeat the whole riff, but instead of the final two notes, you're gonna play the A power chord here, right? Right, like that. Right, and, uh, and then the second half of the riff is the same, but instead of playing the A power chord at the end, you're gonna play the B power chord, right? There. And, uh, yes, I hope it's not too complicated. So, the only thing maybe that you may have problems with is to switch from here to here, or from here to here. Uh, so, Usually when I'm when I have those fast chord switches, I'm trying to uh, sort of visualize, but not really visualize, but kind of mentally prepare in my head where I'm gonna go with my fingers, right? So already when I'm playing here, right there, I already know that I have to go here, and I kind of try to see that before I go there. It's kind of hard to explain, but you know, if you <laughs> if you wanna try it out, then go ahead and you will. Hopefully you will get my point. Um, right, and then for the main riff in the second line. So yeah, that's uh, quite simple. Uh, you're gonna play this six times. Uh, so a bit slower. pretty much it and that will be the verse riff that we're gonna play many many times in this song all right let's continue on to the pre-chorus and here in the pre-chorus we're gonna play this all right so basically that's a repetitive riff you're gonna start with on the third fret of E, and kind of bend it slightly and shake it a bit, okay? So that's pretty much it. And then the other part should be a straightforward, so palm muted E, and you're gonna have this inverted power chord here, fifth on A and fifth on D. I hold that with my pinky and my ring finger. At the very end of that riff, at the end of the second line, the final E is not muted, right? So make sure that you that you, know, that you uh, do not mute it. Okay, so that's it for the pre-chorus, right? And then for the cool chorus riff, we're gonna have this. Yeah, then 
we're gonna play it uh, one more time. So uh, a bit slower. Uh, okay, so those are the first two bars, and you're gonna play them three times, right? And then uh, the final two bars are a bit different. So I'm gonna play the first three melody notes. Right, and then you're gonna go here and play this uh, inverted power chord on D and G strings on the fifth fret. Right? Like this. And uh, when I was transcribing this, I wasn't really sure if they play full power chords or if they play only those top notes here. Uh, I think they play only the, the, those two top notes, but maybe in some tabs you, you will probably see a different chords being played here. Uh, but I'm I'm quite confident it's those two notes here. Uh, possibly with the bass note here, so that C, C full power chord, C power chord, going to B power chord, but yeah. That's my take on it anyway, uh, alright. And after the first chorus, you're gonna play another verse, another pre-chorus, and another chorus one more time, uh, exactly as before, right? And uh, right after the second chorus, you're gonna have kind of speeding up of the song, so you're gonna play this. Uh, just thing, whatever that is, it's basically like checking on the strings, you know, pan muted and muted with the left hand. Uh, and uh, it's kind of random, I think, I don't know. <laughs> but then, after this first bar that we play four times, uh, we're gonna have this fast riff. That we're gonna play ten times. And so basically what we're doing here is kind of fast and kind of tricky maybe. Uh, but if you play it a bit slower, okay. So, uh, so the way I like to play it is to uh, hit the first two notes with the down strokes, okay, and then uh, let me see how I do it. <laughs> Okay, and then for the, when I go in two, three, and two, I start with the with an upstroke, okay, on second fret, and then downstroke on the third fret, and then upstroke on second fret again, okay, and the following two open E's again with two downstrokes, and the power chord obviously a downstroke, right? So uh, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. And then go on like this. Okay, I hope you get the point. And uh, over this riff that we played 10 times, we're gonna play also the second guitar solo, which I also cover in another video. Um, but after this riff, we're gonna have this little uh, funny. Uh, funny And I screwed up a note here. Right there. Sorry about that. So basically you're gonna have this little yeah, melody here. Yeah, and then ending on those final power chords. D to A power chord. And that's the second line, obviously. Uh, <coughs> and after this part, we're gonna play another verse, another P chorus, and another chorus. All right. For the final part of the song, we're gonna have those two riffs here being played. Uh, we're gonna play this. Okay, I'm gonna play this way four times in at the beginning, uh, <coughs> and uh, 
Se parece al que hizo el Player Slowly. Yeah, it goes like this. And I don't think I have to explain that much. Uh, yeah. And then for the second riff. Gonna have this, and uh, again, if we can play it a bit slower, all right. So, uh, I don't think I have to explain that much about that. Hopefully, uh, uh, if you find those riffs a bit difficult to play, then you know, start slowly and then. Uh, make the fingers learn what they are supposed to be doing and then you can you will just speed it up uh, with the metronome if you have to and um, for the next part of this ending uh, we're gonna have we're gonna repeat those riffs as before as played before but the first riff only is only played twice instead of four times and then the second riff is played twice also as before and that's pretty much it for that part. <laughs> it's basically repeated. You you repeat what you played before. And at the very end, you're gonna play this old riff again, twice, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna play it again, but you play this riff twice. And then for the final part, in the second line, this little uh, ending right uh, and then for the final half of the second line we have this little ending and that will be it uh, no remorse i hope you like this transcription and uh, have fun with that song